Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a video that I thought would be pretty helpful to most beginner oboists. I'm doing a review of Emerald Reeds. So I really only have one read. This video is not sponsored. I just happen to have an Emerald Reed from a video that I made about a year ago for beginner oboists. So I've been holding on to this little emerald reed and I was like, I'm gonna make a video out of this thing. In general, emerald reeds are pretty ubiquitous. Like a lot of times, these are reeds that you're gonna find like in the case of the first like oboe rental you ever get. My personal experience with these like really, really mass produced reeds has generally not been too positive. I don't wanna let any like prejudices like affect this video, but I'm just going to soak up this read and I'm gonna do a play test for you and I'm gonna play my read and so you'll hear the difference. In terms of the container, it comes in this little tube and there's a little bit of cotton down here in the end and you just like kind of unscrew it carefully and get the read out. As far as the scrape goes, it's Nothing spectacular. It looks like it's pretty smoothly scraped. I'm just gonna soak it up. I do already have one of my reeds soaked. Um, you may know I do not sell my reeds, so please don't DM me asking for my reeds. just to give you a taste of like, that's what I normally sound like. All right, let's try this emerald reed. Yeah, so pretty much what I expect right off the bat is the crow is flat. So I'm just gonna put in the oboe and we're just gonna see what happens. No, I'm not gonna be trying to manipulate it to sound better. I'm just like literally gonna play it as it is. Okay, it's really, really flat. Like, let's get a pitch reference on that. So if I really bite the reed, and I kind of like, I'm pressing it a little bit more closed, it's like, let's see. It's still quite under pitch. The tone is like a little bit spread, it's a little bit hard to control, and I think the reed just feels a little bit wild. It's really, really free blowing, which is kind of what you do expect from a student read is like you just, you know, when you first start playing, you just want to be able to make a sound. And I think that that's probably why this is like not a bad choice for like the first read you ever play. You can basically use almost no embouchure. And like something's gonna come out, whether it sounds pretty or not, that's all just subjective, right? What I'm tempted to do now is just to give the read a little bit of a clip to see if I can get it up to pitch. So I'm not doing anything special. I do talk about exactly what I'm about to do in my uh, read adjusting for beginners video. I'm just using a razor blade and a cutting block. And what I'm gonna do is put the read on the block and snip off a little tiny piece at the end to raise the pitch. So it's crowing like a low B flat. It should be crowing a C. So I'm just gonna clip it a little bit more. Well, we're at a B now, let's keep going. So I'm pretty close now. The C is like a tiny bit flat. Um, but I think that it's gonna be like much more usable. By the way, I don't recommend keeping your reed in this little tube once you've started using it. This is like not a great way to transport reeds. It's really just the cheapest way. So I highly recommend getting a reed case where you can store your reeds safely. Like getting a reed case like this one is ideal because you can just put your reed right in there and you know that it's going to be protected and it's not going to fall out and you know it's pretty safe and sturdy and there's many different price points for reed cases and maybe I can get into that at some point. I definitely think that the best way to go about it is to get a reed case and if you're a beginner oboe probably a reed case with at least space for six reeds or so would be perfect. 
Um, I do recommend always having at least four functioning reads on you at all times. Okay, let's see what this read is doing now that I've clipped it up to pitch. So this read is way better and way easier to use now that I've clipped it. It didn't become too, too resistant, um, which is actually something that I expected. When you have a read that's so flat and you just clip it, clip it, clip it, what can happen is that the read then becomes resistant and you have to rebalance the read. But that didn't happen with this particular read. In terms of the tone, I think that you can probably hear a bit of the difference in terms of the fullness of and depth of the sound. But I think other than that, it's like very usable, especially, you know, in your first year of playing the oboe, like you break a lot of reeds anyway by accidentally smashing them against your teeth and all sorts of stuff like that. So I think what works is being able to buy these lower cost reeds and then following that up by adjusting them with a reed finishing kit, like the one that I collaborated with Sandpiper Oboe Boutique on. I'll include that in the description below. The truth is on this price tag, this reed retails at 1825 Canadian per reed. So this isn't like an exceptionally good deal if you're getting it from the store because you can buy handmade student oboe reeds for less than 10 bucks more and the quality is much higher. That being said, even buying handmade reeds, sometimes they do need a little bit of adjustment depending on, you know, the weather or if the reed came from like a vastly different climate. Yeah, so this was like an interesting experiment. I remember when I went to one of my first oboe lessons after I picked out a new oboe and it came with one of these reeds in the case. And what happened was my teacher at the time adjusted that reed so it's probably similar to what it is now and let me keep it in my case as the backup reed. So just in case like, all my other reeds died, something happened, there was a flood, I could take out that reed and know that I could make it through a wind ensemble rehearsal. So to recap, I really think that in order to take agency with reeds and really feel like you're in charge of what's happening with your reeds, the best thing to do is to have a reed finishing kit on hand. In terms of the quality of this reed, like straight out of the box, like I would give this like a generous one and a half stars out of five, but once it's clipped and you're able to adjust it, like I would give this like a generous two and a half stars out of five. So not totally terrible and it will get you through a rehearsal. I hope you greatly enjoyed this video and you found it educational or entertaining. And if you did, I would like to encourage you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. As well, you can find me on Instagram at Oboron so you can stay in touch. Good luck with your oboe journey and have a great day.